Hey everybody, it's Stephanie Fit from Fit Bodies, and I wanted to show you today how I grind up um, avocado pits or the little seed that's inside the avocado, how I grind it up and actually consume it for health reasons. So the jury's kind of out. There's not been a lot of studies about how healthy avocado pits are. Everybody agrees that avocados are extremely healthy. Remember, remember back when avocados were full of bad fats and, and people avoided them because they didn't want to gain weight because of the fat content? Well, thank goodness we figured that out, that actually avocados are loaded with all kinds of great healthy fats. And so the, the meat of it or the fruit of it is delicious. But I'm talking about the seed. So let me show you the the. Uh, the little seed that's in the middle. And when I was a little kid, we used to take this out and poke um, toothpicks into it, put it in a glass and grow a little plant from it, uh, beginnings of a tree. And um, that tells me that there's good stuff going on in this. And just to toss it um, didn't make sense to me. So I Googled it, I searched it, and found out that there are all kinds of great antioxidants and vitamins in this little nut seed thing here. So this is what I do. There's lots of ways. If you Google it, Google avocado pit um, or eating avocado pits or consuming or, or whatever, um, avocado seeds, you can read all about it. And you know, you'll, you'll find a couple of articles that, that say, well, it hasn't been proven to be safe. Be very careful. And so definitely I'm going to say, you know, consult a physician before you eat one. I personally don't worry about it. I think you know it, it grows. It, uh, avocados are healthy, so I'm I'm going to do it and have been doing it without any problems. So this is how this is how I do it. Um, so you take the seed out, you consume the the fruit or the meat of the avocado, get the seed out, and what I do is I set the seed. Here's one that I ate yesterday. Um, I wash it off, wash off the, the the fruity part, and I set it on a plate, and I just set it on my countertop. I live in a dry climate and so I let these air dry. If you live in a humid climate, you might want to put them into a pan. I've got a, a cast iron. I avoid aluminum and um, so I use cast iron for, for baking and, and cooking. But I put in, you can see all of these that I've eaten in the past. Ooh, and, um, and then you can bake them at a low temperature like 200 degrees for two hours or something until the little skins start to crackle off. So I'll show you. Hey, so see how they kind of crackle off? You don't want to bake or burn the little pits. You just want to dry them out, okay? So you should be able to, to, did you know that there was even this papery skin stuff? I never, I never knew. Go figure. But you'll notice in these that um, when you peel them that, that there's a, a little separation or a little indentation, a little split or seam here in the seed. And that we're interested in because we want to split open the seed. So here's one, you know, here's the one that I just took out yesterday and you, you can see it's starting to dry but you can't see the seam yet, you can't peel it. So you need to dry these, if you set these on your countertop, you need to dry those. Um, for me, it takes you know about a week. Uh, it might take longer, shorter. They're not going to go bad if they sit on your countertop, um, as long as you know you live in a dry climate. If you're in a moist climate, you want to, oops, you want to dry them out in the oven, dehydrate them. And so this one just split on its own. I split it in half, but I'll show you another one. I just take a knife. I find the seam of it and I just you know careful fingers that I just split it open okay uh, next what you need is a really heavy-duty um, food processor or blender or what I use is a coffee grinder and this is these are hard these are right these are hard so you want to be careful that what you use is strong enough that you don't break it or harm the machinery so I stick a couple of these little hit nuts in and plug in my grinder. It's just a coffee grinder. I use a Krups coffee grinder. It's going to make a lot of noise. It's going to sound awful, but um, but it's going to grind this into a powder. So so 
Check it out. Doesn't that sound really bad? So I only put a couple in at a time. Um, and I didn't grind them all the way. I won't bore you with that. But I want to show you, it's kind of interesting to me, the inside, this particular, I should pay closer attention to what kind of avocados these are. It's uh, August in Colorado, so whatever avocados we import or bring over. But um, look at the, in that it crumbles or it, it makes a fine red powder. Isn't that interesting? I, I don't know what I would have thought it would be but the powder's kind of reddish, and that might be just seasonal. I know I've had like a lighter powder in the past, so it just might be the type of um, avocado that I'm using. So I just take this powder and I dump it into a glass container. I don't use any plastic, I'm avoiding plastic, and um, scrape it out. So I'm giving you the mini version. I would be doing this for a while. You saw all the little seeds I have to do. But I dump it out and I store the powder in this in this glass container in the freezer. And I store it with a little an old teaspoon that um, that I had laying around so that I have an automatic scooper there. So I store it in the freezer to keep it fresh, uh, to keep it from spoiling. And then whenever I make a smoothie or I have some um, overnight oats or even in baking, you can add, I can add, or you can <laughs> add some, and I don't have a, a specific measurement. You know, for a smoothie, maybe I add a teaspoon or two. To my oats, maybe a teaspoon. It has a strong flavor, so you want to add it with something that has a strong flavor. So in a smoothie that has, you know, great flavor to it, it will mask this. It's not a nasty flavor, it's not yucky. It just isn't delicious flavored. Um, you know, in baking, something that has great flavor to it you could add it and and it would cover cover up the the taste um, anyway and then it just gives you that extra boost of antioxidants um, it's natural healthy and ultimately it's great recycling of something that we normally would just throw away so i you know eat about three or four avocados a week i just put them aside i recycle them this way grind them up um, and eat them again and um I keep a nice supply going. You can see I've kind of fallen behind with all these that I need to take care of. Um, anyway, just something interesting. Definitely check and see if it's the right thing for you to do. Don't know, I don't know if this, you know, conflicts with any meds you're taking or any health protocols. Definitely, you know, if you're taking medications, check with your doctor and so forth. But um, I found for me that it's really fun and a, and a great way to boost uh, my shakes and a natural inexpensive way since I'm already buying the avocados and eating them on their own. It's great to see you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Stephanie Fit, uh, Fit Bodies, a health and fitness advocate and uh, wellness coach. I'd love to hear from you. Comment below if you have any questions or comments or if you have a different way that you prepare or eat um, or consume these apricot or avocado, excuse me, avocado uh, seeds and um, I wish you health and happiness and a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Peace out.